I'm Jo from Specialist Language Courses. We are OET Premium Preparation Providers, which means we are experienced and skilled in what we do, helping people achieve success in the OET exam. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the strategies that you can use for Reading A. We will look at a brief overview of the reading paper, in particular Reading A, how to approach Reading A, and some study tips to help you prepare. So what happens in the OET reading test? Here you can see an overview of the reading exam. We are going to focus on part A, for which you only have 15 minutes to complete before the paper is taken away. I'm going to talk through some strategies you can use to help with this time pressure. But first, let's review the format of reading A. There are four texts, and one text usually contains a visual or numerical information such as a table or a flowchart. There are 20 questions in total and three different task types, a matching task, sentence completion, and short answer questions. Here is an example of the text you will see. And here you can see the types of questions for part A. So how should you approach reading A? Let's take a look at some of the strategies you can use. The first thing to remember is that you only have 15 minutes and 20 questions. So you should not read the text. You simply do not have time. Instead, look at the headings and the format of the texts and what kind of information each one contains. Here, we can see that text A is a description of benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV, what it is and who it affects. Text B is about the Hallpike positional test, which is a diagnostic tool for vertigo, and this text contains a visual. Text C talks about the treatment of vertigo, focusing on BPPV, and text D is a table of management options for the condition and their effectiveness. You should complete the matching task first, as this activity will give you more insight into the kind of information in each text, and it will prepare you for the other tasks. So, for this task, you should read each description in turn and decide which text contains the answer. Use the headings and your knowledge of what is in the text to help you decide. A lot of the time it can be done without even looking at the text, but you can check quickly to confirm if necessary. Let's take a look at number one. In which text can you find information about movement debris from the inner canal? Well, based on what we have seen already, we know that this would be in text A. Similarly, number two, how faulty signs to the brain cause vertigo. This would also come from the description in text A. What about number three? This information would clearly be found in text B. Now let's look at short answer questions. In each question, you can see what kind of information you are looking for and words and phrases to help you locate the answer. So for question 11 here, we can see that we want to find the type of treatment that the Epley maneuver is, and the Epley maneuver is the word we should scan for to find the relevant part. We then need to decide which text to look in. And as we are looking for a treatment, it's probably going to be in text C. So let's look there. Fairly quickly, we can find the Epley maneuver and reading there, we can see that it is a rebalancing treatment. So that is the answer. Sentence completion is the other task type for reading A. For this task, you need to decide what kind of information would complete the gap. So for question 15, we are looking for a noun and specifically one which begins with a vowel because you have the article an before the gap. We can then use the words moving and standing still to help us locate the answer. We also need to know where to look. And for this question, the answer is most probably going to be in text A. So let's see if we can scan for the answer quickly. 
Here are the clues from the question. And if we read this section, the answer is clearly illusion. We can now move quickly on to the next question. So how can you prepare for reading A? It's really important that you develop your reading skills for the OET exam by reading widely. Only doing exam practice papers will not sufficiently prepare you for the exam. For reading A, you need to develop your scanning technique. One way to do this is to take any text and scan for specific words. Let me show you an example of how to do this. Here is a text on the management of BPPV. So one idea would be to scan for a particular word. For example, all the mentions of the word vertigo, like this. Think about using your finger or a pencil to help you scan and underline or circle the words as you find them. Or you could scan for numbers. Or scan pages on medical conditions for symptoms, causes and treatments. Patient Info and the NHS website are good resources for these activities, but you can really use any text. Top tips for reading A. In the exam, don't read the text. You don't have time. Use the headings to help you know where to look. Use the information provided in the questions to help you find the answer. And move on if you get stuck on one question. Practice your scanning skills in your self-study time. So thanks for watching. If you would like more strategies and tips on how to prepare, check out our website. You will also find handouts which you can download with everything we've talked about in today's video. Links below. Please like and share so we can help more people achieve success in the OET exam. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Bye!